Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of our traffic tutorial for City Skylines. Today, we're going to talk about intersections. We're going to talk about two different things. The first is we're going to talk about when a controlled intersection is created in City Skylines, depending on the roads you're using. The second thing is how many intersections is too many intersections. Let's get into the first topic. Generally, with single lane roads, two way traffic, single lane roads, you will not get an intersection at all. Connect, you can connect them any way you like, you're not gonna get an intersection. A controlled intersection, that is. T intersections are fine, roads coming out, curvy roads, everything, no intersections will be created. The When you start getting up into the four lane or the six lane roads is when we start to get intersections. So let's take an example. Let's grab a four lane road and we'll take a single lane road and put that into the four lane road. You'll see traffic lights have been created. This holds true for basically every iteration of this that you can possibly think of. Roads coming out, T intersections, etc. Holds true as well for six lane roads. If you brought a six lane road out of a four lane, you'll see you get a traffic light set up. The only time that you don't get uh, an intersection, controlled intersection coming off of a four lane is when you use, say, a highway uh, ramp. So coming off a highway ramp or a one way single lane road like this. So you'll see just the stop sign, no traffic lights. If you reverse that direction, however, if you bring the road into the four lane, you'll see that you do, in fact, get an intersection. See, every time you bring the one way into the four lane, you get an intersection. This is also true generally with highways. So if you've got a, uh, a highway coming and you want to grab a one way road and bring it out, uh, you've got no controlled intersection. Bringing one into a highway also does not create an intersection. If you make a T intersection with a six or a four lane coming onto a highway, this will create a controlled intersection on the highway. Probably a pretty bad idea. There's a diagram that's readily available on the internet. I will post it down in the description below. You can look at it. It goes through all of the different configurations of each of the types of road, incoming, outgoing, T intersections, all of this, and it tells you whether or not an intersection is going to be made at that junction of those two roads. The reason this is important now bleeds into our second topic, which is how many intersections, how many controlled intersections is too many. So usually people start out a city, they'll have something that looks something like this. You know, they'll, they'll have small little areas with a bunch of small streets coming off. And this is perfectly fine for starting out. But as the traffic builds up, they think, well, I'm going to upgrade this road to a four lane to make more throughput. Well, you'll see the problem that this ha this makes happen is that there is a controlled intersection now. This is way, way, way too close to one another. You'll get traffic backing up here, you'll get traffic backing up here and here. This is a bit of a nightmare. So a few ways to solve this type of problem is you uh, upgrade your roads to one ways. So if you have roads coming off of this as one ways, these controlled intersections will disappear. The other way that I like to do is, is say these are residential neighborhoods and uh, these are all single lane roads. So we've got a controlled traffic intersection here. What you do is you cut the road uh, off at the intersection. So you would bring a road right up but not connecting. This is a trick from old SimCity days. Uh, so you would still have, say, this zoned as residential in here, but you wouldn't connect it to this road. Instead, you would skip this length and not have an intersection here. So you'd have an intersection here, intersection here, and the people could come around this way, uh, and you could build a road in the back instead of right off of the, uh, the front. So they could still access it, but there wouldn't be any main road access. And this is a way to keep intersections off of your main through fares. 
Hope you found the video informative, guys. If you liked it, please like a like below. Uh, if you want to see more of these, please subscribe. I'll be putting out several other road tutorials and those sorts of things over the next coming short while. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.